get up. Tell somebody I've been sitting in some uncomfortable places. But God has made it so I can get up. I wish somebody would just thank God that no matter what, He is on your life. It's just enough to get you back up. Consider Israel in Egypt and our lives do more to strengthen us than all the mountaintop experiences ever in our life. For the power of God reacts to struggle and the power of God reacts to stress. Isn't it that what God meant when he told Paul, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Several years ago, someone came to me and said, I want to preach. I want to be in ministry. And I told him in one word, if you're going to make it, you're going to have to be relentless. Because it's going to take relentless people to abound in the world. To be relentless. And relentless is a word, Pastor, I use to describe people who don't take no for an answer. Do I have about ten good relentless people in here? Just tell somebody around you, I'm not taking no for an answer. Tell them when it comes to accomplishing something that God told me to accomplish, I'm not going to accept no for an answer. After nine years I've been pastoring this church, it was just good training. But now I'm getting ready to step into some things that y'all said I couldn't step into because I didn't have all that it took. But the devil is a liar. I'm moving forward with relentless faith. Purpose in your ministry and not just talent. I realize that this idea is highly controversial but if you're only talented you may feel comfortable taking your talents into the secular arena. Talent like justice is blind. And it will seek all opportunities just the same. But when you're cognizant about divine purpose, there's some things you will not do because they would defeat the purpose of God in your life. Oh, many of you, you could have gone backwards, you could have backslidden a long time ago. But you knew that everything that was coming at you was trying to destroy the purpose of God in your life. You had to cut some people off. You had 